Good morning, we have driven out to a location that's called La Forest and today we are cycling to Sars et Rosier. Mm -hmm. Is that right? I don't no. know how I pronounce it. It could be Rosier, it could be Rosier. Carl's eating his Haribo. But we're going to go and see the men's Harry Roubaix Pro Race and we're going to see the cobble section 15, which we think is a five star cobble that we did yesterday and I felt it. I've got plasters on today, I've got a big ass blister. Um, but yeah, we've got a 17 Malone cycle there, 17 Malone back. But we have been told that apparently there's a party where we're going, so I'm looking forward to that. And Carl's excited because apparently there's a chip van there. That sounds well, yeah, French chips are okay as long as the French fries. Oh, you don't like them? French fries are good. I don't like the chunky chips. All right. Well, hopefully uh, they're French fries. But they fries do then. do burgers, well, right? So oh, blooming heck. He's been, he's been researching. Right, let's go. Tazzing along. We're feeling good. The sun is out. I'm glad we've not got any cobbles today, though. <laughs> Thank goodness we've got some plasters with us. This is the life. We've got sunshine. We've got a bit of tailwind. We're going to see the pros ride a classic race. I'm just so grateful to be here and just yeah, and I'm just so relieved that yesterday I came out with no broken bones. I slept really well last night. Just the fact that it was over just, yeah, was a big relief. But I'm glad we did it for a, a great cause, Cordy Kimi. Like, if you ever want to do the Pyro Bay Sportive, just go for it. And they're a great place to do it with. So the entry is actually open this week. So, yeah, but I'm really excited to see the pros whip by and uh, just being happy to be here, really. Bonjour. <laughs> I've literally never known somewhere so flat. If you don't like hills, this is the place to come. We haven't even had a 1% incline yet. This is lovely, nice little woodlands to ride through. We're in the forest. Good, I've got centre parks. We are actually now riding on the official route. We've just been uh, let through. The cars aren't allowed through, but the bikes are. So that's good. Along we go, there's lots of people waiting. We're going to the cobbled section. Hey, 17 Maloney is done, we made it. We're in a cobbled section. We've got about a three hour, two or three hour wait till the pros come through, so we're just going to relax. There's barbecue going on, there's things going on over there. Absolutely great. Came on here yesterday, so we're going on here again. But I am not riding on it, not with my blisters. No, I'm not riding on it. I don't know where Kyle's going, he's going right up there. Does he want a burger? I was going to stop here so we could have a burger and stuff, but he's clearly doesn't want one. He's going right up there. He'll come back in a minute. Kyle and I've been coming on the blooming cobbles again, but um, we're going to literally position ourselves here so the pros yeah, are going to come we'll right to past us. Hope they don't crash into us. I'll be down there. Yeah, I'm going to stand down there in that bit. Or oh, next that building. Like but yeah. Oh Lord, I can't believe we're doing this. This is a sight to see. I got up here and turned around. Very brave of your hands, the way they are. I put my glasses on. I've only clipped in one, but I can't clip in on the cobbles. probably better than me that was my very poor demonstration of riding on cobbles very slowly couldn't clip in get my momentum up but those men up there there's a big camera taking photos of me and they're not official people so i don't know what's going they on they might think you look professional yeah should we ride back up there get some snacks and then come and camp out now here now you're talking my language i'm thinking it's never too early for a beer today it's nearly 12 o'clock anyway oh you're driving later you can't drink and drive you can have one or two sir one throughout the whole day no you can have a drink later when you go out for dinner obviously that's mesmerized up there by all the cars coming through Here's another one. Use this one. There's lots of cheering going on as well. Here we go. Whipping past. Oh, they'll need new tyres after that. Oh, Kyle's coming. Go on then, Kyle. Ali, Ali. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's an old convoy coming through. Jesus. Oh, I didn't even realise they were here yet. Oh my god. They're here. Okay, we're missing it. We're missing it. They're here. Didn't even know. Yeah, hey. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, this is fast. I'm a bit measuring I thought they weren't coming for another two hours. What's going on? I'm literally like, what? The car's down there. I don't know if he's even missed it. We're all like all in shock. I don't know what's happening. Look at this. Oh, look at You see that? He had a really bad road rash on his hip. Moved down position a little bit to get a bit closer to Kyle. He's up there somewhere. Got another rider. Yay! Well done! The thing, it said half three. It's only five past twelve. We're at the wrong segment here. I can't believe that we just literally had no clue that they were literally anywhere near. Well, I did think when all the cars were coming past, I thought, why are they coming past so soon? And then Kyle started riding down the cobbles in front of the motor park. I'm just trying to find where Kyle is. Oh, the police. Oh, here he is. I can see him. <laughs> oh, look at his face. I literally, I'm in shock. I can't believe that. 
Oh, 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 oh. Kyle, did you see it? You what? Oh, <laughs> I didn't think I didn't recognise everyone. GB kicks on in oh. last year in Netherlands. I thought I didn't know GB had a team. I thought that was the race. You idiot. I was cheering it on. National team. And then I, I did actually think at one point, is that the junior? I wonder why the cars were coming through so early. I did. And then I, I literally just filmed it all thinking it was the proof. And then I, I, was like, I was like, where's all the people that recognise? Everyone was cheering on the French lads and I was there going, come on, yeah, yeah, I was. I, I was thinking, no, seriously, I just filmed it as if that was the proof. You idiot. <laughs> I'm really happy it's not because I've got more time here, but I, was, I thought it was the pose and then I was like, oh, they all look quite young in my head. And I was thinking, no, I don't know. Well, did you see Matthew Van looking, der Poel? No, I was looking for him. I was like, yeah. where is he? I thought <laughs> I'd missed him. <laughs> the three on the front, I was like, I don't recognise any of them. You did a team oh kit. You didn't see any team kit. Yeah, I did wonder where all the kit was. And then I was like, why is there a GB one? Oh, well, we've national... not missed it. We're going back, yeah, baby. Have... Right, Carl's too scared to come in here. I'm not too scared, but I've got the money, so I'm coming in to see what there is. One minute, it's very squelchy on this grass. The cleats are sinking in. I have a feeling nobody here is going to speak English. It's going to be quite hard to translate what I want. Maybe this is Kyle's heaven. We've got chips, we've got hot dogs, we've got everything going on. Kyle's happy I've got him chips, I've got him a hot dog. Now we want some Coke, but the problem is the Coke comes in cups, so I've emptied out his water bottle and I'm going to fill the water bottle up with the Coke. And then we're going to walk up there and find a spot. We've basically got a picnic, yeah. We're going to walk up and find somewhere to camp out week for the pros so I'm really excited now. I don't want to walk too much on these cobbles because I'm going to wear my cleats out. I know, do you want to walk on the side? Mm. Let's have a look it's at it. It's a bit weird, I didn't know what it was to be honest when I ordered it. I just pointed at it and that's what came. One thing you have to be wary of when you're in France is mm. the sausages. Because they can be very peculiar things. What's it taste like? I'll treat that. Let me just show you the chips car because you're going to be amazed. Because when when it, you know when you come a place like this you think oh they do chips, you just think oh it's just a rank little you know cheapo chips but no it was i think they had basically a whole like fish and chip van there look at these and that's one portion three euros for that look how many it's you a get. proper party there it's crazy your baguette was more expensive no, than that kyle's chips just blew away in the wind and i was getting them off the cobbles in case they're a hazard amy started to pass me the chips into one hand because i only had one hand free yeah and the wind ripped all the paper and blew the chips out <laughs> have you fallen asleep i'm trying to you've not moved for the last hour i'm trying to get a bit of kit are you in a chip coma i'm just enjoying the sunshine what's this little pile of chips over here is that for the birds or something they're the ones you spilt on the pavé <laughs> Hey Kyle, it's a bottle opener! <laughs> a bottle opener! Woohoo! Kyle's all happy because he just spotted a hazard in the road in the form of a fridge magnet. And not only one. You got two. two. What does it say on it? Paris Hobe. Oh. Are you alright down there? Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> you going to sleep? You watching the race? It's meant to be, or set to be, I should say, the fastest Paris Roubaix on record at the minute. They're averaging 52 kilometres an hour for the first two hours. I'm not surprised because there's a blooming one hell of a tailwind. It's about blowing me back that way. I don't know if you can hear it, but whoa, it's very, very windy. And who's your favourite? Tom, what? Out of everyone? Out of everyone. Tom, I knew that. What about second favourite? I thought that would be the case. We can see the helicopters, that means they are coming. It's over there, look. Wow, they go so fast. Yeah. Minute, they look 
some of them look beaten. Look how well their faces are. They're dust beaten. Yeah. Oh, the pain on his face. I can feel it. I can feel it pulsing through your blister. I feel for him. Ali, 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 Ali! Oh, I feel really sorry for the ones that are on their own. Oh, blooming neck. He had right saddle rash. Well, not saddle rash. He had right rose rash. He had a bit cobble rash. Get my cheering voice on. Took me strapping. Took me strapping for action. ever get the chance to come out and do this just please do it's just so like adrenaline i mean it's perfect really because you parry you come down you do parry roubaix you get through the pain of that and then you can relax today and enjoy the pros and after you've done parry roubaix you can obviously watch the women as well so it's perfect what does that mean sit on my potato He looks like he's giving up. He looks like he's on a jolly. Is <laughs> he doing all that? <laughs> he's, off, he's off the cobble rod. Ali, Ali, Ali! He's got a flat tyre. He's already had a wheel change. He's got a flat tyre, that one. I don't care, change, yeah. he's carrying on. That was absolutely great. We had such a good time cheering them on. Carla's usual needs a week, so he's trying to go and find somewhere around the back of the barn oh, or something. Like no, oh, no, so all day actually. <laughs> no, he's not had a wee all day, he's going to fight one. So glad that we did this morning, it was so fun. Even though we had to wait three hours, it went by really quick. It was just really nice to see the pros and yeah, it's just been such a good weekend. So just riding back to the van and we stumbled across a pub slash cafe, so we thought we've got to stop here. Kyle's got his heart set on a gopher, aka a waffle. And I've got my heart set on a hot chocolate, so we've got the bag in view, it's warm. What more could you ask for? White chocolate macchiato, very, very civilised. What's it like? Delicious. I asked for a hot chocolate, but I've somehow ended up with a white hot chocolate. I mean, I'll take it, I love the sweet nectar, but I did want a normal hot chocolate. Oh no, this here is a blanc. Yeah, you said blanc. No, you do, yeah. It says chocolate au lait, I thought it meant chocolate with milk, I don't know. Anyway, I've got a hot chocolate, I can't complain. One thing I will say about the hot chocolate and drinks portions out in France, they're blooming tiny, I mean, a little more compared to normal. It's only filled half full. It's about sugar loads. That's what I need. If I was you, I'd have gone for Nutella. No. You're obsessed with Nutella and I'm not as bothered. I love Nutella, it's the best. Mm. Is that good? Oh. Well, I'm going to help you on the way back to the van now. Why? <laughs> You'll be rushing around. Mm. Yeah, you're going to have a right sugar rush with caffeine included as well, Come and Nora. Uber his bike out from the rest of the bikes. <laughs> So that's 17 Maloney's, ding dang done, each way, so 34 altogether. We're back in the van and now we're heading to our hotel for tonight. And then we come home tomorrow, which I'm really sad about, but it has been such a lovely experience and weekend, so I can't complain. Right, we're at the hotel. This is going to be the end of the video today. I've just walked into the room. 91 euros we paid for tonight and I am in paradise. I literally looked through the room and I was like, what is going on here? We've got two chairs, one each. A lovely little view of the farm as if we were on a farm. Little farm out there. Kyle's gonna be happy. <gasps> I've not actually looked yet. Kyle, little chocolates. I've got a kettle so I can have my porridge pot if I want an extra snack tonight. I mean, look at the bed. We've basically got the equivalent of antlers up here. Living like kings. Could be in Scotland. Yeah, we could be in Scotland. This feels smooth, but I've not looked in the bathroom yet, so let's go and have a look because it's an open. It's open to the couples. Wow. Kyle, oh my god. Oh my goodness. We've got dressing gowns, Kyle. We've got a sink each. That's very nice. We've got a tissue box. What on earth is it? Is that a flannel? Is a, that's a hand flannel. We've got a hand towel, a hand flannel. We've got a hair dryer, Kyle. Hey there. We're living in luxury here. We've got an open air wardrobe. Oh, I'm just like, uh, to be honest, compared to the Ibis last night, this is heaven. 91 euros. Let's see the toilet. Kyle, walk in shower. There's enough room for two in there if you wanted it. And a lovely, that'll do me. That's beautiful. Butterflies. Idyllic and peaceful. I'm just, to be honest, I'm pretty speechless here. Kyle, do you want to give your two cents? What I'm going to say is, mm -hmm. after staying in the Ibis for two nights, this is deluxe. And also, this is by far, including all the trips we've done, Land's End, North Coast, this is the best value, nicest hotel we've ever had. This feel. Oh yes, it's not sandpaper tonight. It is not sandpaper tonight. Oh, that's good. 
Oh, it's even got Carl, one of these things at the end of the bed. I've always wanted one of these at home, but we've not got a big enough room for it to put like your clothes on and stuff. Blimey heck. Carl's in a whole world of heaven. You better not get your greasy hair on my pillow there. Thank you. No, after the cow. You can have my side of the thing like that. <laughs> it's even got aircon for the summer. Oh, I'm in heaven. We can see your van, so I feel safe about that. It's lovely. And the woman that checked us in also likes cycling. She was very impressed we had like her on, so. Yeah. Oh, you've even got, if you need to work, you've even got a little light here. Touch, USB, I don't know what that means. Oh, temperature control. And they are English compatriots together. It's a great guest book. Okay. What's this little? Oh, people have left messages. We'll be leaving a message. A message of positivity. We've just had to come back on a minute because we've just sat here in shock. I mean, this is the best, one of the best hotels I've ever seen. I mean, it's on a par with where we went for our honeymoon. To be honest, Kyle, like the room is just. <sighs> yeah, apart from you've not got the beaches and all the Mediterranean yeah, no, we're not, sounds. We're not in the beach, yeah, but no, still. But it's what we'll say is this. I mean, I'm tempted to give a tip. Mm. I know Amy's heart sinks when I say that. <laughs> but it's just, this doesn't seem fair. Well, let me just yeah, see what the bed's like. Oh, I can confirm I'm going to sleep well tonight. Halle to the loo, yeah, I've not had a, I did sleep well last night because I was, all the stress of Paris Bay was over, but right. the sandpaper feel on my arms and legs wasn't helping the situation. Car's cracking open the water. So I'm going to say thank you so much for watching again. TT to the FN, I'm actually going now. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. I know we said goodbye last night, we just have to come back on for breakfast. Like this is amazing. I walked in, it's all set up like this. We're on a little farm. I've already eaten my little chocolate and pear bread thing. Honestly, it's so all nice. freshly made on the farm. I've got fresh yogurt from the cows on the farm. The milk from. Milk from the farm, cows on the element. Just we've got French toast with cheese on, we've got cheese. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see these little jams as well, Kyle. Wow, crepes as well. Oh, yes. Hey, hey. we're in the element. I'm going to put some jam on that. It's lovely. I'm going to drink any trouble. I'm going to have some weed to mix now. I'm going to feel like I'm not doing it. I know, I'm making porridge now. It's going to feel, you know, not as good. Well, I'm all freshened up after breakfast. Had what was what I can describe as a kiss of life with that breakfast. Last night I slept like a little bush baby in its little cocoon. That bed is a bit of me. Kyle was just doing some sort of stretching. Last night we did our takeaway pizzas, yeah. and we also had little tiramisu, but not coffee flavour, Nutella flavour. Right, so we know how to live when we're abroad. We do. So yeah, so now we're heading back to the ferry. Really sad. But it has been an amazing trip. Like, Cure Leukemia have been lovely. Like, we're so glad that we've raised money for them, done it for them. If you want to do it, definitely do it with them. It's so well organised and tickets are on. I think you can apply now for next year. Can't uh, recommend it enough. But Can't once, be no serious. Yeah, <laughs> once is enough for me this year. So. Yeah, we think we might stay here next year and ride out and see it. Because we could ride to Rebay for me. It's half an hour drive, so... Maybe, might see you there. Maybe some other cobbly bits next year. Yeah. Anyway, we've actually seen some mates. There's actually a pro rider here that is... Uh, <laughs> Hey, he was we... catching on the camera. I'm not um, so sure he was happy about There's a pro rider under 23, so we're going to go and see him. We've got a little signed cat from the one and only Josh Giddings, oh, aka oh, pro cat. rider for also, the camera Lotto Destiny. Look a lot, the camera does make him look a lot taller, he's not really that tall. He's, yeah, he's he tall. How back. tall actually are you? 6'5". Uh, yeah, quite That's small. Like I'm about I'm bed car, go and stand next to him. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. Car with my handbag. Oh my god. Oh, six yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you find the Pyro Bay? Yeah, it was good. It's a race that lives up to its ex expectations. Yeah. Tough race. Did you get any blisters? No, I didn't actually. Oh, you did well then. Just yeah. cramps in my hands. Did you? Oh. Yeah, cramps is the worst. Did, you, did it ever scare you, like people being really close to the cobbles? A few times there was like, I could see in the distance people walking in front. And I was yeah. Like, are, they ever, are they ever going to move? On we the were cobbles? coming at like 60k an hour, 50k an hour coming into the cobbles and they'd be walking the dogs. Oh. We'd have to shout and. Uh, oh. What did you have yeah. as your recovery meal after you ride? Well, straight after I finished, I had a bottle of cherry juice, Ooh, which is different. something for the teams do for recovery, yeah. and then a recovery shake, and then uh, I didn't actually eat anything after the race, I Did just you? had pizza and pizza oh. and uh, that, that was later in the afternoon. Yeah, pizza's a good shout. How long yeah. have you been riding for Lotto then? Lotto uh, Destiny, my first year with Lotto was last year, Yeah. so this is my second year now. Oh wow. You enjoying it? Yeah. I bet it's hard. Yeah, I did do a lot more higher level races now, yeah. so. I've done a few pro races this year too, so. What's been your favourite one? Uh, probably yesterday. Was it? Really? Yeah. Would you do it again? If you asked me yesterday, I probably wouldn't have said it, but now I look back, it, 
That's yeah. a good race. Oh, yeah, oh you've not got biggest, a very big cassette on the back. Is that as high as you see you can go? It's not a gravel back, is uh, it? Yeah. There's still a bit left, but it's the biggest frame size. Oh, is it? But I've got a yeah, big cassette on the back for Derbyshire. Yeah, for yeah. 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 I was going to say, it's not, I was thinking it's not a big cassette, but then I was like, oh, actually, it's not a gravel back, is it? And you've got Sell Italia, that's why I have as well. Yeah, yeah. Comfy. Nice shout out yeah. to the yeah. sponsor there. Yeah, shout out to the sponsor. <laughs> Don't drop it. No, that is light. It's Carl, you wouldn't. It's a lot lighter than my bike. Carl, you wouldn't even be able to sit on the on the frame, I don't think, with your feet touching the floor. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's light. No, it's proper light that way, you know, isn't it? Well, thanks for chatting to us. Yeah, Kyle's right. going to wear this all the way yeah, home, I'm sure. Love a cap. <laughs> I've actually got a bit of a collection of caps at home now, haven't I? <laughs> oh, it was great to meet Josh. I wasn't planning on doing any YouTube today, but looks like we are. And we're now heading to the ferry, Calais, but they've actually given us a recommendation that Kyle's very happy about for a little brewery. So we're going to go to a brewery en route so Kyle can get some beer to take home. On my way to the brewery. There's this French song that's been in my head. Like, I used to sing it when I was a kid, when I was stupid with my friend, when we went on a school French trip. It's like, a wee. A bord de la mer, son, sa sa c'est sweet. A la Leo, mi mama, son, a bord de la mer. I think I made up the words for that, but it's just in my head. I don't know what song it is. So I've been singing it all morning to Kyle. Yeah. Well, you I'm like not, it, don't you? In all seriousness, I like the tune. Do you? But in all seriousness, I ain't got a clue. Well, I'm very, very basic French. Probably not someone's had the head knocked off there. You flipped it, eh? You took the top off that. <laughs> Brasserie. Oh yeah, that's it. Here. Where? Here. Oh yeah, here. Go in, go in. Oh, no, you can't go in there. Pocket, oh yeah, you can't park here. Right, we're here, but it says newsery. Hang on. Just press the bell. Oh no, hang on, it's open. Come on then, Kyle. Ooh. Oh wow, look at this. Can you come in this way? I hope so. Oh, we'll just walk past the till. Look at this, Kyle. Ooh. This is very, it's very quiet. I think you meant to press the bell or something. I don't really know. Yeah, you just here? It in. Well, it was open. Wait, what does this sign mean? Go back. I'm going to go back outside. There's a sign, but I don't yeah, know. Oh, they're here, they're here. Oh. oh. Sorry, bonjour. Yeah. Are we about to go in? Sweet. Oh, thank you. Oh, we didn't yeah. know. <laughs> okay, we are allowed to go in. Wow, it's so nice. Carves in his element. Out talking. I'm happy now. Look at these. Get some oh, yes, Kyle. Raspberry. Don't know what that, oh, that's um, Blackberry, but I don't know what these two are. Well, Kyle was very happy. He's got three beers. He got also one for my dad, one from his granddad, and I got a lovely black currant jam and I'm falling you over. Are. I think I'm drunk <laughs> off the beer. Oh, it's so nice in there. It's my like lovely. You can smell eggs. And it's called Brasserie Fusier. Fusier? Right now, Kyle wants to try and find a supermarket because he wants to get some wine. So I said, all right, then let's go, but best not miss the Blooming Ferry. Also. Mm -hmm. I didn't get my Oasis did up on there. Oh, Kai wants to stock up on his favourite drink, Oasis. So he wants to take a load over because they don't sell it in the UK. It's like a special flavour of Oasis. some wine that I like. Who knows? Yeah, he wants to get some wine as well. So I said, that's fine. Treat yourself. We did Paris Bay. We've got to celebrate. Um, also, Kai, have you got my purse? I have indeed. Good, because... Right, we're going into this. I don't know what it means. You. <laughs> you, again, some wine is what it means. Do <laughs> I? That one's been opened. Two of them bad boys. You getting two? I really am. Oh, that fuel. Oh my goodness. There's <laughs> <laughs> a, big it's a Derby van with grapes for its beer. Anyway, that'll do. Get the big bad boys. Go on then, get one of them. Go on then. That one. I can't, I can't carry anymore. Should have got a basket. Blimey, I can Fishy neck. How much tuna is there? We've got an old wild. Fishy neck. Dedicated, fish. dedicated to tin fish. Of fish. Oh my no, and how many variations of tin peas can you get? Beans. This is the, no, it's peas. I do love Pink Ladies, but Jazz are, Jazz are a level up from Pink Lady at the minute, they're more crunchy. Now I think we're gonna have to do Pink Ladies because those look moldy. They don't look like they're gonna have much crunch. Don't like green. These ones look good, but they might be mushy because of the colour. Yeah? Crunch. Pardon? I don't need that many of them, do you know? I'm going to get a pink lady and a pair. So I also quickly got some madeleines <coughs> and some little chocolate things and Carl's practised his French because he asked for un sac, but it's meant to be uh, sac. That's what the woman went to. We went, oh, not, she went, no un, uh. So we're practising uh, de so toi. <laughs> <laughs> I was like you're trying to push something out. We got a message from P&O Ferry saying there was some sort of issue with the French border control, technical issue. So there's long control, long control, long waits at the ferry to allow extra time. We've not allowed a blooming extra time because we've been faffing around getting wine. So now I'm more stressed we're going to miss the ferry. So 
Thank the Lord, we are at the ferry port. There doesn't seem to be a queue. P&O, get us in there. Let me get my passport out right now. Halle to the Luya. We've got our little ferry thing. We're going to lane 12.09. Passports are on, some sort of beeping going, going on. It's a bit hard to know where to go. I'm just saying, uh, yeah. Why are you staying in this one? Let's be queuing that one, Kyle. Yeah, yeah but his oh, car's coming there. That no, car's no. gone in there. And the Gee whiz. When I got a text from P&O saying there's been severe delays at the ferry port because of a technical issue, I was thinking, I've been palpitations thinking we're not going to be home till midnight. I was already stressed about being home between half eight and nine because I want to have my tea and get to bed and got work tomorrow. It's been a tannoy announcement. We are cooking freshly cooked fish and chips, burgers and nuggets. Freshly cooked my arse. Go for that. Where's the chickens running around in this place? <clears throat> yeah. Well, I can understand the fish and chips because you might just cast the rod off the side and pour me in a nice piece of cod. Mm. But I don't know why they're keeping the chickens around here, but I can't imagine there's many of them on deck. No. I'm just watching yeah. someone that's dropped all this stuff out of the car for them. But a minute, what's happened to their car? What have they been doing? Bang racing. Bang racing. <laughs> Jeez, they're not, don't drive that on the road. Oh my god. Um, well, Carl, you don't need any lunch, do you? Because you've eaten a whole baguette. Apart from that little, what's wrong with the M bit? Don't worry about that. Did you not want the M bit? They've been bang racing across France. Right, we're on the ferry, just waiting for Juice Free to open. I just feel like I'm in a cesspit. There's germs flying around everywhere. There's a school, there's like 10 school trips, all coughing and spluttering. Pat lunch is galore, sweat galore, let me tell you. Coming up the stairs on the ferry, there was a queue, and I walked through out the car park onto the stairs, and I honestly was hit by a wall of sweat. <laughs> Kyle's laughing behind the camera, so he knows what I mean. It was just awful. I mean, it was worse than Kyle at the end of Pyro Bay, to be honest with you. I've been sat on a coach probably from the south of France all the way here. That's why they're sweaty. Keeps being announced about up upgrading to the um, Premier Lounge, whatever it's called. I'm, I would not, never normally pay for it, but I'm tempted. I feel like I'm sat in a dinner hall. Can right, I be back home? I'm, just I'm only joking, by the way. I, do, I don't mind being on it, but I just, yeah. There's a part of me that wants to just have a little igloo around me to not let any germs come in. I've got my hand sanitizer, actually. I'm going to put that That's on right now. That's going to sting on your bits. Careful. My bits? I'm not putting it down there, Kyle. Do you mean on my blisters? Bliss the blisters. Yeah, the blister update. We've got one here. We've got one few there. Oh, they've gone right, right down. They've gone right down. It's not that bad. I heal quickly. Also, what I will say, the day after Pyro Bay, I had swollen fingers, but they're not swollen anymore. Right, we're in the duty-free section. Kyle's convinced it needs a new aftershave. He's currently looking at the one million. Which I've had before, it's just a go-to for most men. Isn't it? Is it? Just a go-to. You can't have this one. You wanted to get this one, but my dad has that, and that's just a no. Yeah, that is nice. You can't be smelling like my dad. Actually, my dad's had this one as well before, I don't want you to have that one. Dior's either. nice. Dior's nice, yeah, but it's pricey. Can't, 108 pounds for that. Yeah, but it's worth it, Ooh. it's nice. I had the big bottle before. Is it worth it? Yeah, it lasted me about, it lasts about two years. Right, we're back on home soil, aka the underground car park in the ferry. We've got a four and a half to five hour drive, depending on traffic, probably six hours knowing our look. Back home now, so it's been an absolutely amazing weekend. Can't thank Luke Cure Leukemia more for having us. And thank you to everyone that's donated and just following along, really. We're just Maybe tired, what? to be honest now, but I've had the best weekend. And Kyle's looking forward to driving five hours, aren't you? Oh, I'm ecstatic. Absolutely ecstatic. And I've got my laptop with me, so I'm going to be editing this video while we're on the road. So that'll be fun. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. TT's the FN. Goodbye. Au revoir.